Okay, I showed you before how to make the chocolate brownie. Now we're going to do a chocolate panna cotta. So basically, I'm going to do three videos, uh, and, or four videos possibly, to make a dessert which is, uh, oh, I guess, death by chocolate or chocolate dream, call it whatever you like. But it's got lots, lots of chocolate in it and it will impress your friends. So anyway, we'll get on to the, the panna cotta now. So we need a cream and we need 250 ml, which is a cup. So, just open that. So I've got a third cup here, I haven't got a full measuring cup one, so I'll put three of these in. There's one. Now you, do, you do need to be reasonably accurate for panna cotta. So I'm scraping the cream out with my finger, I've washed my hands. Two. Uh, if, if you have too much liquid, it's too runny. If you have too much gelatin, it's too tough. So it is important to be pretty accurate with this. So there's the one cup of cream. And we put some cocoa, about a tablespoon. So just scrape that off, chuck that in there. And we need some sugar, which is 25 grams. So again, I don't have caster sugar left, I've only got brown sugar. So I'm just going to use about a tablespoon. That'll be enough sugar. All right. We put this on the heat, we dissolve the sugar, warm the cream up. Uh, actually, we make the cream fairly hot because we need to add the gelatine. So I'll put that on the stove now. While that's melting, we'll organize the gelatine. So the gelatine, we need one and a half, one and a half teaspoons. So this is the half teaspoon. So this is a half teaspoon, like I said. One, because that's the second one. Three, so one and a half teaspoons of gelatine. Now what we do with this, we add a little bit of water to it. Just cold water, not too much. So, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon, and then just mix it up with the water, and you leave it. When your cream's hot, then you can add it to the cream and that will dissolve. If you try and put the powder straight in, you're going to have so much trouble trying to dissolve it. So put in water first and then transfer it to the pot. So I'll just go and check how that uh, cream's going and I'll get back to you. All right, so that cream's hot enough now. And all the, the cacao, the cocoa's in it and sugar. So now we just put the gelatine in. And then we just mix that through. You can put it back on the heat if you like, um, so that it doesn't cool down. So but I'm just going to try and mix it through so I can show you. So that's where it started to dissolve. So it's very important that it all dissolves. Otherwise you're going to get lumps of jelly in it and that's not pleasant. So, we're just going to put it back on the heat for a second. <coughs> and I've got it on low while I do this. So you got your plastic moulds, just spray them with your rice bran oil, otherwise they will stick. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Uh, because we're having the brownie and all this other stuff, I'm not going to fill these up. But if you're just doing panna cotta, you just fill them up. All 
Right, so that's, I'm just checking that's all dissolved. Just run it over the spoon, you'll see that there's no lumps of jelly. So we tip that into these. I don't know if you can see that, I'll try and bring it around a bit. So you can see it. That'll be enough. So, oh shit, one sec. That brown is red. So I got about five, five halves. Nice. They go in the fridge and you can do these the day before because they do take overnight to set. I'll get back to you when we're done.